everybody, welcome back to the Asai TV Review Show. My name is Brandon Bishop, and this is the show where I get cool stuff, whether it's sent to me, sponsored to me, I went out and bought it, doesn't matter. Cool stuff, stuff that I like, stuff that I believe in, stuff that I think you would find use useful. But first, before I get to this company, I want to uh, show you a commercial that they did. I'll play it behind me, and I'll etch it into the actual feed here, but hang on. Hey man, what are you doing? Oh, I'm crushing my nuts. Well, why are you doing that? It feels like I've been crushing them forever, and no matter what I do, I can never get comfortable. Let me help. Wow, my nuts feel so much better. They really do feel great in the perfect gene. You're welcome. Now let's talk about the Perfect Gene Company. The Perfect Gene NYC, you're gonna see all the information here at the bottom. Immediately, I enjoy talking to the people there. Again, I go after products that I need, want, and would use, and definitely would like you to know about. This company is right up there at the top. I've had the jeans that are stretchy from different companies. Um, I'm not gonna say what those companies were, but one of them I loved, and I loved for about three months, and then the buttons would fall off, or then the color would just completely fade out of them, and then I didn't love them anymore. There was another brand, it's a reputable brand, it has like, I, I forgot what the name of the, the cut is or whatever the style of jean is, but it was um, a really good brand. I still wear them to this day, but really, really, really ridiculously expensive. So I, um, yeah, <laughs> you kind of go, uh, yeah, okay, I'd like to have 15 of your jeans, but at the same time, we check my bank account. No. So that brings us to the Perfect Jean Company. Uh, theperfectgene.nyc. You can go there and check out all the different styles they have of jeans. You can go there and check out all of the different products. It's not just blue jeans. They have hoodies and shirts and all kinds of different stuff, accessories and things like that. But upon getting the jeans, which came in less than a week, this is the bag that it came in. I don't know if you can read that because of the glare or whatever, but it says, F your khakis. What do they mean by F? Where that's actually, you know, F, uh, hashtag, parenthesis sign, K, your khakis, the perfect gene, NYC. What do they mean by that? Let me explain real quick. These pants, which I have a lump of them, they're not folded. Some of them I wore yesterday. They're, um... <laughs> hey, if, 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 it, if it's a company that says F your khakis and don't crush my nuts, guess what? I don't think they're gonna have a problem with me talking as I talk. So I'm really uh, happy with that. I love companies that just don't give a freak, okay? And uh, the Perfect Gene, they know they have a great product and they talk about it to people as people enjoy being talked to. I enjoy a bag that says F your khakis and all these different other things that they have, um, soft as a baby's body, whatever. It, it, the Perfect Gene Company, these are the tags that came off some of the stuff. Um, man, they have amazing products, and you'll see in a second, but they're also funny as hell, man. Before I get to the jeans, I've never had a white hoodie in my life. I didn't think I'd ever have a use for a white hoodie, never thought I'd want a white hoodie, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you this, look at this, I actually wore this. That's why it's all like uh, not freshly pressed. I could take this out of the laundry mat and this would not be freshly pressed, okay? It's, I'm not that guy. I'm gonna clean it, I'm gonna dry it, and I'm gonna hang it up in the freaking closet until it's time to wear it again. That's just who I am, I don't care. I'm not ironing anything. Cool thing about Perfect Jean Company, most of their products, I don't think you should iron them. I think there's like rules against ironing them and you have to wash them in certain ways, wash them on cold. Um, read the instructions, okay? They do come with pretty, uh, I had them right here, pretty uh, comprehensive instructions. And then once you order, they'll send you an email that says, um, yeah, don't do this and do this and, and just take care of your stuff, okay? As soft as a baby's bottom, yes they are. 
stretched so your nuts ain't crushed. That's what these things say, okay? The humor of this place makes me a huge fan. F your khakis. What can I say, man? These guys are awesome. Anyways, I got a white hoodie. This fabric is not your typical, there's their logo right here. You gotta have a little logo on there, you see it? This fabric is, the fabric? The fab fabric is not your freaking freaking freaking. This fabric is not your normal hoodie fabric. Uh, I don't, I, what is it? Let's look. Does it have a tag that says what it's made out of? Um, organic cotton, 60%, 40% polyester. So not only is it a little bit stretchier, but it's soft as, hang on, as a baby's bottom. I don't know why, but I look better. I'm a chubby dude, people, okay? I'm a chubby dude. I got the dad bod, and you know what? I'm 49 years old, and I don't give a damn. I'm proud of it. I'm not proud of it, but, you know, I'm working on it, okay? It's not the end of the world for people in their 40s to have a dad bod, okay? And that's what these clothes are for. Anybody who has a dad bod, anybody who has an amazing body, whatever. It just, it's snug, and I got a blue one here, too. I wear this one. I've worn this like three days in a row. It's not clean. Perfect jean logo. But I don't know what it's something around the, the, the hip area. I just don't know what it is. And I really love the way I look in these things. You, we all do that thing where you walk by the window, you know, at some store. Maybe it's a closed store. Maybe it's, it's whatever. But you walk by that window and you kind of, you know, give yourself a little side eye and you're like, ugh. When I'm wearing this hoodie, and these jeans, I give myself that side eye and I'm like, huh, huh. So F your hoodies too. Don't just F your khakis, F your hoodies. And also they sent me a, a t-shirt. It's like a V-neck, it's olive green and it is missing. <laughs> I put it with the other products all in the same spot. I hung it up. It's just sitting in that same little spot. Okay, I gotta do this review thing. So here's the perfect jean stuff. I'm just gonna put it right there and leave it right there. I'm sure I'll find it. Shirts don't have legs. Jeans, I made a mistake, okay? Again, my fault, not the perfect jean. When they said, do a uh, size bigger on the jeans, I said, okay, well, I'm wearing stretchy jeans, one of the other brands, so maybe it'll be the same. No, and I've, I've yet to wash these. I've worn one pair like three days in a row, whatever. Um, I've yet to wash them, so I'm hoping they do shrink a little bit. But I'm gonna start with this pair. I've not worn this pair yet. Obviously, the tags are stuck to it. F your khakis, baby. Again, I, I love the little logos. They, they, it's not too like, some brands are like, I want everyone to know what you're wearing, and it's us, it's me. And then you're, you're just like, no, dude, I just want to wear some jeans. You know what I mean? I don't really care about all that. I'm that guy. I don't. I don't want your your label all over. Oh, I didn't even see that. You got a double hook on the back or double loop. That's big, dude. Trust me. Us big dudes, when we put a belt on, that that is that is smart. Especially when you got stretchy material, just holds it up a little bit better. Uh, but anyways, yeah, the, the tiny little logo right there. Perfect, perfect jean. And then look at this fabric. It's like wearing sweatpants. Whatever you're doing. You know what? Let's get. Ah, uh, no, yes, whatever. I'm not a supermodel, okay? I know I may look like one, <laughs> thank you, but I'm not, you know, that guy who's uh, gonna sit there and, uh, oh, here they go, they put it on the inside. Now, you know how fat I am, 38 by 32. Good God, I should have gone 36 by 32. This is the boot cut, which I think is like, uh, you're supposed to wear boots with it or something? It's not about the cut though, it's about the fabric, okay? They have cuts for big baggy chubby dudes to super skinny jeans. They have, I think they have like five or six different cuts of jeans, styles of jeans. Uh, that's the boot cut. This one here, which I've worn already, is the, uh, the thick, 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 and then T-H-I-C-C. So this is the baggy stuff. This is what the dudes that like their pants hanging around down their ankles, showing off their boxers. This is probably what they would want. Um, yeah, and, and on a side note, just don't, don't, don't do that. It looks really, really stupid. I know you're supposed to wash these on, uh, what does it say here, right here? 
Wash inside out. Didn't know that. Glad I looked. Machine wash cold with similar colors or like colors. Do not bleach. Tumble dry low. This is really hard to read. I'm sorry. I'm old. Tumble dry low, uh, medium iron when needed. I will never iron any clothes for the rest of my life. I have this like steam thing that I've never used once. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not terribly difficult to wash. You don't have to like hang it outside on a clothesline or anything. Wash it on cold and uh, put it inside out. I guess that protects the colors a little more. Don't add any detergents with bleach in them and uh, tumble dry on low. I may tumble dry on high, high heat, um, just so they shrink a little bit because I love the way these look. These are just badass jeans, super smooth, super comfortable. I am in love with them. So that was the uh, thick, thick. This is the boot cut. I'm actually folding my clothes. Mm, okay. Put those right on the shelf. And then this pair, this is my favorite. This one fits a little, little big on me, but that, again, that's my fault. This is the athletic fit. So if you wear these, you instantly become somewhat of an athlete. Athlete, athlete. I do this for a living, you know? Again, wonderful, and they have different colors. They have, uh, I wish they had more colors. I'm gonna say that's the only negative about the Perfect Jean Company is that I want more colors. Selfishly, I want more colors, people. I want an olive green. I want, you know, like a maroon color. Uh, that's the only thing like this other company that I found on Amazon. I'll say their name, they're uh, ethanol or something like that. It's the only thing that they have on the Perfect Jean Company is the fact that they have probably 50 different colors. That is uh, something that I'm pretty big on. I love green jeans. I'm Mr. Green Jeans, okay? Give me green jeans, Perfect Jean Company. Give me um, all the different colors. I Like I said, give me a red, give me a, a purple one. I don't care. There's always a, a there's always an event that needs a certain color or something. And I think once, because uh, right now they got blue, they got lighter blue, they got uh, the really light blue. I think they got like 10 different colors or something like that. Go to perfectjean.nyc, check out everything they've got. They got a few different colors of hoodies and different undershirts and everything like that. Um, that's the only thing. It's just we, you know, we want more colors. We want more colors. These are fantastic, fantastic, high quality designer. They're from New York City, so of course they're all of that, right? Everything in New York City makes it fancy. Our jean company's in New York City. We're gonna put it right in the website, the perfectjean.nyc. Boom! You've already actually probably stopped watching this because I'm just a talking head babbling about a pair of blue jeans right now. But um, if you have stopped, I'm hoping that you went to the perfectjean.nyc, put a bunch of stuff in your cart, hit order, and within a week, I want you to tell me what you think. Sound good? Thank you for joining me here for the Asai TV Review Show. My name is Brandon Bishop, and what are we going to review next? I have no freaking idea, but if you're a company out there who has something awesome, whether it's clothes to dress me up, whether it's something I can use for my van life, whether it's something I can use for Asai TV, how about a new uh, MacBook Pro, Apple? Um, send it. Or if it's something that I just happened to bought, I'm looking at the new Oculus over there going, should I? Uh, that'd be kind of a difficult one to do, but I might. And there's uh, there's endless products out there, and I'm hoping that everything that I show you will help you to not only discover it, find it, buy it, and then help that business thrive because that is what we are all trying to do here. Scratching each other's back and having a good time. Thank you, The Perfect Gene, for making me sexier with your clothes. And I, um, I'm very grateful, and I can't wait to get more. See you next time.